Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. believe that David went through my stuff. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Rachel and I were still leaving today. There's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Ah, uh, better than nothing. jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh.
Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay... My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. I really hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Gross. Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. of David's shit around here. Alright, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. 
Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Don't worry about me, okay? I... I can take care of myself. Well, will you at least tell me where you're staying? I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I.
David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. <laughs> 